Welcome to Exquisite Dining, featuring yours truly, the Music City Fashion Plate, Big Stevie Pump. Guys, a couple of quick pieces of business. Well, you know, before we get into what we got, you hear the rattling of the bag. I'm going to show you in just a minute, but real quick. First off, I want to, uh, you know, apologize. I hadn't been able to get a lot of videos out lately. I've had a lot of things going on. There are some big things on the horizon for BSPN, for Big Stevie Pump, and guys, it's going to be huge. Whenever I get to the chance to unveil this to the world, and it's not going to be too much longer, but there's some big things coming. Anyway, so a quick shame on you to Big Stevie Pump for not getting the content out quick enough. I'm working on it, guys. I'm working on it. But what we have today, one of my favorite places to eat, Hardee's. And they've got this new prime rib burger, and we're going to dig into it in just a minute. But first, you know, you got to go with a star here and you got to get the Dr. Pepper. <clears throat> Hardy's Dr. Pepper is always awesome. If you hadn't had a chance to try it, do yourself a favor and get you some Dr. Pepper from Hardy's. Now, what do we got? So we got fries. So we'll start with the French fries. I actually like Hardy's fries. So let's see here. Warm, very nice, very nice. Good, you know, nice, good flavor to them. All right, cool. So, let's see here. We get some ketchup out of here. All right, let's look at this burger, man. Let's look at this monstrous burger. New. And anybody that knows Big Stevie Pump knows that Hardee's is one of his very favorite places to eat. It's a shame I haven't even been able to uh, do Hardee's yet. Real quick, Hardee's used to be really good about putting out a lot of specialty burgers, and over the last... I don't know, a couple of years, they seem to have slowed on that. So I'm not sure what the reasoning is. Hopefully they'll get back into getting these special burgers out. But it's time for the burger reveal. Okay, so let's take this out here. So let's see here. Okay, not quite as epic as it looks in the picture. You see they got the cheese sauce and it has some prime rib on it. but And the onions on the bottom here. But not quite as epic as they make it look. And it, it looks like this burger's been uh, the uh, in au jus, the uh, prime rib there, because it's got the sauce in there. And I'm going to tell you what, Hardy's roast beef sandwiches are actually really awesome. And they're big chicken fillets, like in addition to their burgers. I mean, Hardy's has got a lot of stuff that's really awesome. But let's go ahead real quick. Once again, let's uh, kind of... Try to get this open so you can see. I mean, it's it's not as piled up as the the uh, pitcher, but we'll we're gonna dig in and go for it here. Let's see here. Okay. Thought I was going to have to shame on you, Hardys. They did put the napkins in the bag. Thought they didn't give me any napkins for a minute, but they did. So, man, on the first couple of bites, really good. Really good. The onions kind of remind me of uh, of McDonald's or, uh, or uh, like White Castle onions or whatever, the kind they put on their sliders. So let's get a quick drink of the Dr. Pepper. So, man, I'll tell you what. On first taste, this is pretty good. It's a lot of meat. Um... The one downside, I will say, the bun is pretty soggy. And if you look here in the in the box, you can kind of see here, hopefully that's picking up, where it's the juice from the au jus is kind of dripped down. So, I mean, let's that ought to be a good bite right there with that all that prime rib. Let's get that one. I'm going to tell you what, this is really good. I mean, it's messy. You probably need about 20 napkins. But, man, Hardee's. That's a, let's, uh, I'm going to pause this for just a few minutes. Let me work on this burger, but I'm, then I'll come back with some more thoughts. But I'm going to tell you what, right now I'm thinking this is a win for sure. So hold tight for just a moment. Okay, a couple of things. I'm going to tell you what, man. This is one of the best burgers that I've had in a long time. 
Hardys, you absolutely nailed it. Despite mine seemingly having maybe a little less prime rib than it should have on it, but man, guys. I'm going to show you my hands in just a minute, though. The one drawback that I got on this thing, and I've, I've wiped my hands. I probably went through like five or six napkins already. Let's eat this last bite. So that's the thing. Um, let me pause it for just a second. Let me let me try to clean my hands off a minute, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and I'm going to tell you what. Hardy's absolutely nailed it. I can't decide if it's um, more good or more messy, you know, what scale. But first off, 11 out of 10, okay? 11 out of 10 on the new prime rib burger. I'm going to tell you what, man. That is the best fast food burger I've had. That is, it was the perfect blend. The flavoring, I could have used a tad more prime rib. That's okay. The flavoring, those onions, the cheddar cheese sauce, the burger, the prime rib. I mean, all of these other burger places need to take a lesson from Hardee's on how to make a freaking burger special. Because, you know, the only time, there's only two times I can remember that Hardee's broke my heart. One, when they discontinued the Jim Beam Burger. Hardee's, if anybody from Hardee's ever watches this, sees this, please, 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 Big Stevie Pump is begging you to bring back the Jim Beam Burger because that thing was a thing of beauty, thing of magic. Now, besides that, this is probably my second favorite burger that Hardee's has ever had. And like I said, anybody that knows Big Stevie Pump knows Hardee's is his favorite. And for me to be raving about a burger like this from Hardee's, you know, it's not going to be super surprising because everybody knows how much I love Hardee's. But with that being said, they haven't had a win like this in a long time. Now, I mean, it is messy. I did have to dig into my secret cache of napkin supply. So, you know, be prepared to be messy. And you may even want to take a bath after you eat this thing. I don't know. But it, I don't feel gross. I don't feel disgusting like I did after I ate the Burger King Steakhouse King. So real quick, you've seen me recently reveal four burgers and, and review and reveal both. Uh, four burgers. And I'm going to rank them in order. Number four, counting from worst to first, McDonald's Travis Scott. Give me a break, McDonald's. Learn something from Hardee's. That's a burger. That's a specialty burger, not something that's a deluxe quarter pounder that you slap Travis Scott's name on and say, guess what, guys? We got the greatest burger in the game. No, you don't. Shame on you, McDonald's, for trying to even say that's a specialty burger. Enough on that. And by the way, don't forget that Sprite debacle. That was just abysmal, too. Okay, number three, Burger King Steakhouse King. You know, that was a very filling burger, and like I said, I felt pretty full after that, you know, but it was it was good. It was okay. Number two, the Wendy's, you know, beer cheese pub bacon pretzel burger. That thing was awesome. I've had it twice now. The second one wasn't quite as good as the first one. It did come from a different Wendy's. But still good. I'd get it again. But this Hardee's burger, all three of those burgers combined can't even hold a candle to this Hardee's burger. Like I said, this Hardee's burger is an 11 out of 10, man. I mean, it's the perfect blend. I am really impressed with this. Like I said, the the messiness of it, it, it doesn't even detract from it. Just bring a roll of paper towels, okay? You know, bring some wet naps, you know, whatever you need to do to get your butt to Hardee's and get this thing in your system, in your gut. I mean, because you're going to be grateful for it. You're going to be grateful to Big Stevie Pump telling you this is an 11 out of 10 burger. You're going to be grateful that Hardee's has made such a, a, a thing of magic. So, I mean, I'm going to tell you what, guys, it really, I mean, Hardee's absolutely nailed it. They made my lunch super enjoyable today. I am ecstatic about this thing. Oh, real quick, hashtag Pump Squad. How about you guys? And, uh, you know, I noticed now real quick, I hope a lot of you are watching my toy reviews on Tales from Collector's Paradise, exclusively on BSPN. And I'm trying to get, you know, more of these toy reviews out. I did a little teaser trailer for the AEW figures, got those coming soon. But since we're focusing on food reviews right now, you know, real quick, just, you know, I want to continue to thank you guys for continuing to watch and like, and comment, and subscribe. I hope you're enjoying what I'm putting out for you. I wish I could be putting a little bit more out for you. I'm trying. I'm working as hard as I can, guys, to get these videos cranked out and all the other things going on, including my very special big 
project, a big project that's appropriate for a guy like Big Stevie Pump. Thanks, guys. Big Stevie Pump out! Oh, yeah. And one other thing. The second time Hardy's let me down is when they removed Red Burrito from the Nashville location. So shame on you, Hardy's, for removing Red Burrito because those tacos were awesome. Everything about it was awesome. So other than that, Hardy's nails it. Get your butt to Hardy's. Get the burger. <laughs>